Hey guys, it is Saturday here in West Virginia, and today we're going to do, I guess I can call it Super Stock Saturday, although I don't think these were considered Super Stock, they were in some kind of fuel class, altered wheelbase cars. Uh, what we're going to take a look at today are all of the variants of the 1965 Dodge Coronet AWB, which is altered wheelbase, from Hot Wheels, and we're going to do a little bit of shop talk about the upcoming one. Uh, so far to date, there's been six of these released with one coming. So the seventh one will be released later this year, and I'm going to show that to you first. I got it pulled up here on my other phone. Um, that is this guy here. So as you can see, the number four on the side, and they are going with this maroon color this year. I'm not sure what store will have this. I'm hoping it's Kroger. Because uh, I do have those in my area. Because I'm not getting these melons as convenient as I did. And often as I did. Uh, from the Philippines. So uh, maybe that will change later this year. I don't know. So I'm looking into maybe doing the melon promo myself for this car. Uh, I've already got my card backs. Just waiting to see where it comes up at. I'm hoping it's not Target. Because we have absolutely no Targets in the area at all. Um, so anyways, they don't even have pictures of this carded yet. It's just the first, I think three, they have, um, the Sylvia and then the Porsche and then there's the Alfa Romeo, uh, not the one that they did a couple of years back, the one that they just released in the team transport set. I forget what model that is. Not just, but last year they released it in red and whatever model that is. And then uh, there's the cool combi uh, car, um, the Legends Tour car, obviously. And then I don't even remember what the Zamac was going to be this year but anyways i'm just hyped about this one this is the only good one that i see this year besides the combi legends tour uh the other ones are not that hot of models in my opinion uh just my opinion though so i'm hyped about this coming up so i will be getting one maybe two of these probably two i'd like to keep on carded and one loose but if i only get one it's going to be ripped open to go with well, these guys, because these guys are worth the big bucks um, of all of them. This is one of them, the Honker. And I actually bought him loose, found one in pristine condition, mint. The guy opened it as soon as he found it back, I guess, in 09 or 10. I can't remember what year was which year uh, without them being carded. I know two came out in the first 30 car set in 09, and then two more came out in 10 uh, in the 25 car set. So the Honker is actually a model of a real altered wheelbase 65 Coronet back in the 60s, and Hot Wheels got it right with the V-pillar and such on the hardtops. They did kind of taper down into this little, like, pedestal thing here. It's not really wide like the post cars were. The hard tops had these really triangular-looking rear B pillars. They got that right, and then they tried to get the hard top look here. It would have been better if they would have been doing the tampos they're doing nowadays where they're putting them on the chassis and on the window whatever but yeah it would have looked better and then put vent windows but it's not bad at all uh honestly it's just that back then they were not doing any tampos on like tail lights or headlights especially the headlights on this because it's part of the base nowadays though they do um so hot wheels has really evolved with their premium stuff but these are still cool um this one Looks pretty authentic with like the five spoke wheel in the front and then the steelies in the back with the slicks. That's kind of how they ran them back then. Not something this wide though. They would have been much, much more uh, narrower than that. And then flipping it over, you can see how it has like the open header, the narrowed in leaf springs and stuff. They got that stuff pretty good. Um, so it's not like 
a super detailed, like, out-of-world casting, but it is still a great casting, one of my favorites. I know somebody asked me today what my favorite uh, die-cast company was, and I said, I guess it's got to be Hot Wheels. It's where it all began for me as a kid, and then where it all started again in the 164th, anyways, back in 2009. And right now, over a third of my collection is Hot Wheels. So, here's another one that's modeled after a real race car. And this is actually my favorite of all of them. Just because of the wheel and tire combo, they're matching front and back. And the diameters and everything seem to be coordinated with one another. And Dick Landy is a Mopar legend. So, this car is very historic in the Mopar world and this one does have the tail light tampos this one may it's just hard to tell because the car is red <laughs> so that's the only thing but this one does have tail light tampos it has landy's dodge across the back of the deck lid still no headlight tampos but still not bad and the 65 coronets do have a flat front end like that so this is pretty much spot on for the front end of a coronet 65 coronet anyways so really cool looks just like the race car and then um the other two actually the uh, one of the other two is also modeled after a real race car steve or i'm sorry dave strickler's uh awb 65 coronet and dave strickler has another hot wheel out that came out in the vintage racing series the next year his 70 camaro pro stock um which is not the greatest looking casting, but still cool because it carries some historic, like, heritage of NHRA behind it. It's an actual race car. But, yeah, this is the other AWB that's an actual model. And this one does have tail light tampos, too. And same wheel and tire combo as the Honker. And then the next one is another big buck one. These two here... Especially this one here, you can get for less than 20 bucks a carded. And then this one here, probably carded, you're talking 25 or 30. Loose, probably around 20. This guy, loose, maybe around 10 to 15 bucks. Sometimes you can find a good deal on that one. This one here, however, even loose, you're going to pay between 40 and 50. Carded, you're probably going to pay upwards of 60 to 70. And that goes the same with this guy here. This is called Stack Deck. This one, I think, is just a fantasy super stock paint job by the designer at Hot Wheels. He wanted to have something that was different, looked cool, and it does look cool. It pops with that gold stripe on the emerald green with the chips airbrushed on the quarter panel and the hand of cards on the door. Looks very cool. Uh, the wheel tire combo, once again, is great. Uh, it has white lettered tires, which is pretty cool because you'd have white lettered slicks and maybe white lettered front runners. So this one also does not have tail light tampos. Don't know why, because they did such a great job on all of the rest of it. This is the only one that has like a, well, actually Dick Landy's does have like a smoke glass too, but this is the only one that has like a tan or beige or gold whatever interior it's a darker color all the other ones have like a white colored interior even landy's is a white like interior he just has smoke glass it gets harder to tell but you definitely can tell that this one has a goldish colored interior bucket so those are your first four variants two from 09 two from 10 all that were in the drag strip demons lineup and then, funny enough, the next two are also from the Drag Strip Demons lineup. This one came out in 2000, I believe, 18 or 19. And all, that whole set was only a five-car set, and it was all gassers. This is the only thing that was a little bit different, but an AWB can be considered kind of a gasser 
uh, fuel altered type of vehicle. But you had the 66 Supernova gasser, you had the Comet gasser, the 62 or the 65 Nova gasser, and the 55 gasser. And then you had this guy here. And then this guy reappeared in a two-pack, and that's where I got him. I got rid of my uh, set of the Gasser Drake Strip Demons a long time ago, and I wanted this car again to go with my Mopars, and I bought the two-pack because I wanted the other 63 Plymouth that was released with this. So, yeah, that's what they did with those two-packs. At first, they were reusing premium series cars and then put one new model. And it may not have been a new casting, but it was a new paint job for the model. And the 63 Plymouth, when it was released in the two-pack with this, it had been years since we had seen it. So it was cool to see it come back. So, yeah, another cool one. And as you can see, in the later years, they started doing the headlight tampos, marker light tampos, license plate tampo on the die cast base, which is cool. And then you have your tell light tampo so this one is like perfect spot on uh has a larger diam diameter uh front wheel on it which i'm not sure how i feel about that because it is skinnier so it does look look more correct with the width but the diameter of the wheel is not that correct but it's not too bad i'll take it and then the sixth one came out and I believe it was, I don't know, maybe 20, something like that with the last drag strip demons, maybe, no, it was actually, I think 22, I'm sorry, um, and it was this one, this one is another great paint job on it, the Ram Chargers, and this has a lot of history behind it, if you're a Mopar fan, you know that these guys started out as engineers, from Mopar and they were just doing like bench racing and then they wanted to take it to the track and try it and that's how the Ram Chargers evolved basically and another one that has the Telite Tampos and this one I can't believe it I thought this would have headlight and marker light Tampos and it doesn't so they're getting cheap on us again so the best variant so far with the most detail is this yellow one and this one is another made up one of this racing name eastbound and crowned um so this i believe is another fantasy like type paint job like stack deck but yeah it's the most detailed of the group so that's all six so far guys and i showed you a sneak peek of the seventh one coming up uh, and I'll be sure to get that, and we'll do an unboxing on it, most likely, when I do get my hands on it. So, I hope you enjoyed it, enjoy your weekend, and I'll still be back on Monday with a Mopar Monday. Uh, not sure what we're gonna do, probably some more Mopar drag racers, or maybe some green light Mopar muscle or trucks or something. I have a bunch of Mopar stuff to bring to you guys still. So, be sure to tune back in Monday for that, thanks for watching. See you later.